I have a quick important announcement to make. I'm sick of being demonetized on YouTube. I'm sick of censoring these videos for the YouTube algorithm. So this is going to change. Every month, I'm going to be releasing unfiltered, raw, controversial videos for YouTube members. Videos about the darkest corners of the internet, TikTok, the CIA, China, Rothschilds, a Mr. Robot series review. And by the end of the month slash early August, I'll be releasing a video on Ted Kaczynski, otherwise known as the Unabomber, where we'll talk about his story, going from a mathematical prodigy to living in the world, sending bombs in the mail and having his manifesto on the front page of the New York Times. Welcome once again to a legit Chinese Communist Party approved rat review. On today's episode of Content Inferno, we got a right-wing grifter, a plagiarist, a borderline idiot, and a guy who cannot seem to get the facts right just to push his own shitty agenda. Moon is a channel you might have heard of recently. He usually gets recommended through YouTube recommendations for a bit, and I feel I'm not alone in thinking that this guy is a bit problematic to say the least. First of all, I'd like to get this fact out there for the completely uninitiated. Moon is a Nazi. A hardcore Nazi. And I know that the same term gets modeled so far, it kind of loses its meaning, but I'm all about thinking that if a duck quacks like a duck, it's a dog, and if a Nazi talks like a Nazi, he's a Nazi. Whoa, Jimmy, eh? You're throwing baseless accusations over there. It's not baseless when you got him retweeting and liking and engaging with right wing pundits like Paul Joseph Watson on Twitter, just boosting your shitty right wing and Nazi ideas on your face. Imagine, Imagine my, my shock. shock. So where I'm going with this is that a lot of the information he pulls up on his videos have something to do with a very similar agenda, especially when he battles with scary conspiracy theories on his videos. I'm always getting comments about being an American shield promoting with scare propaganda and that China is no worse than America. These people have no idea what's coming to them. I mean, yes, I get it. China is an authoritarian regime. I'm an anarcho-communist, I don't necessarily have to agree with all Marx's points, especially not those from the CCP who, at worst, we consider tankies. But to think China is pulling the strings behind every social media company trying to control our ecosystem, and not only that, but to also peddle this sort of conspiracy theory like it was Alex Jones, is pretty ignorant at least. It's not just that he peddles bullshit conspiracy theories about certain particular social media companies, he has to milk them. Three videos about TikTok, three videos about Meta and Facebook, three videos about Reddit, and also two videos about Discord, just in case it wasn't enough with one video to nail in in the head the idea about how evil these companies are. Now we'll all play a little game that I personally call That's Bullshit! I'll give you a sample of factual information that he gets wrong, and out of that, you'll yell bullshit on each of them, myself giving an explanation on why they are such. For example, the people in charge of Twitch's censorship teams are people like Steph Lower, a prominent member of Twitch's Safety Advisory Council. According to Twitch's page on the Safety Advisory Council, Council members are not involved in moderation decisions, nor do they have access to any details on specific moderation cases. The council was formed with the belief that bringing diverse viewpoints into the conversation will make the council's role in recommendations stronger and ultimately better for our community. This comes to say that Steph does not have no involvement in censoring Twitch streamers or anything. She just advises Twitch streamers on issues about trust and safety. She's not a member of the Twitch staff. Strike one. Like one of Reddit's top dog moderators called, fittingly, Abolish Work, the 30-year-old moderator of the subreddit are anti-work, and in January 2022, she would unmask to the world the face of the Reddit mods running the internet. Abolish Work is not one of Reddit's top moderators. He was just an ex-moderator for r slash anti-work, and not really a big time one at that. It's funny because you have to point out a Fox News interview with him where he's no, there's no factual information about that subreddit. He just, the interview is just about belittling the subreddit into making people think this is all, it is all about people being lazy, when in fact the subreddit is just about poor working conditions and a majority of companies and jobs. You will notice this if you actually read the an, uh, anti-work subreddit. Strike two because the people who control TikTok's algorithms are the people rewiring the brains of Generation Z. They are brainwashing the youngest among us, and they are doing this on the orders of the Chinese government.
<laughs> Absolutely brain dead. Fucking strike. Three. This is just factual information he gets absolutely wrong. Either because he didn't take as much of research into the topics he talks about, or either because he legit wants to manipulate his audience. Take this video for instance where he basically explains why Discord is evil incarnate. But by becoming a member of the channel, you'll have access to my Discord server to talk with other like-minded people. Oh yeah guys, Discord is pure evil controlled by the Chinese government and has pedos and hackers, it's really bad. Please join my Discord server. Moon can keep his money where his mouth is. He's a lot of times a massive hypocrite. One day we will be making a video about on how Elon Musk is evil. Another day after, we'll just simp on Twitter over Elon Musk and, his, and like his tweets, just as long as it's convenient for his agenda. If you look at his very first video, the one that is anti-porn, he usually go around the right wing anti-porn sentiments about how porn jacks up your dopamine badly. Well, it's not strange to see the same patterns of a man like Moon needing to constantly upload content to feel validated, thus jacking his dopamine in the process, then crying about getting demonetized or age restricted, thus crying about his lows of dopamine. I mean, would you trust a man child who can even keep his goddamn word about his conspiracy theories? Even then, would you trust him when he plagiarizes videos from other people for his own videos? I'll begin by showing you my video first, since mine was uploaded 326 days before the other guy's video. And I'll also show you an excerpt from the original script for Downfall of Reddit I wrote back in 2020. Here, just have a listen. They occasionally take the trouble to falsely accuse the ban community of breaking some rules in a pointless and pathetic attempt to justify the ban. The admins of Reddit will falsely ban subreddits under the guise of breaking some arbitrary rules in a pointless and pathetic attempt to justify the ban. They weren't always this trigger happy. They weren't always this trigger happy. There was once upon a time when they would only close a community if it brought unwanted media scrutiny and bad PR to the whole website. There was actually a time when they would only close a community if it brought unwanted media scrutiny and bad PR to the whole website. The earliest example of this might be the Jailbait subreddit. The earliest example of this was the Jailbait subreddit. Which featured photographs that many argued were distasteful at best and borderline illegal at worst. Which featured photographs of what many argued was distasteful at best and borderline illegal at worst. Reddit allowed this community to thrive until it was noticed by CNN's Anderson Cooper, which brought a lot of negative attention to the website. But Reddit allowed this community to thrive only until it was noticed by CNN's Anderson Cooper, which then brought a ton of negative attention to the website. Call me a communist bitch for all this, but I think there's an inherent problem in the capitalist system we live in. I think people like Moon have make up conspiracy theories like these because they've become so traumatized by the mundanity of capitalism that they have to invent literal boogeyman stories about literally anything, just either to either comfort themselves or to either dodge the main root problem. And as long as those sorts of conspiratorial people exist, no matter if it's Moon or Alex Jones, we fellow CCP spies will be there to make fun of their shit and put them in their place. Good night, alt-right.